and welcome students in this today's video we will plan to install the visual studio latest version and let's see what are the different option which we need to select if you would like to create the web applications by using the visual studio and we will try to download and install the latest version of visual studio for it so first i'm going towards chrome here i'm trying to go for download so i just type download visual studio it's not visual studio code i will be trying to download what here visual studio so here it comes i'm going to the website which is called as uh, visualstudio.microsoft.com and the current latest id is going to be there visual studio 2022 so i need to download the visual studio it is going to ask me which one you would like to install which one you would like to download a community a professional or enterprise definitely we would like to work with the free version so i'm selecting over here community version you are able to go for doing everything whatever you do it by using professional version with what your uh, visual studio is community one so after downloading just give a click on this and it will start our installer process so now what are the different option which we need to select Uh, with the visual studio that we need to understand let's see it will take few minutes depending on internet speed okay so this is going to start the visual studio installer and here we need to select the appropriate feature uh, for the various options the various languages the various features which we will be using for working and creating our own application so let's try to focus on which option need to be selected So here it comes. What we are interested, we are interested in going for ASP .dot net and web development. That's the reason we are selecting over here ASP .dot net and web development. Do not forget to select these option that is called as .dot net framework projects and item template, WCF Windows Communication Foundation. If you need a backward compatibility, let we should be working with what here .dot net frameworks earlier. If you need additional project templates, you can have. So okay, Microsoft Teams development tool you can use it or you don't use it. So these are the option which are needed for developing our console based application. Need to have a .dot net desktop development for developing the node based application. We can see other options etc. But right now we are okay with these all options because ultimately we are using the Visual Studio for developing the web based application. So these are the option which we need to select. definitely our dot net desktop development has been also added and then you can just start install while downloading and wait for a minute or uh, depends on internet speed it will complete the download and at the same time while downloading it will be installing the visual studio also it has taken approximately 10 minutes <coughs> i'm just cutting the part of the video for that for completing the installation of this particular visual studio So now you can see very well the installation is being completed. Just few minutes are remaining, and you can see my Visual Studio 2022 get started. I am just trying to close this. The Visual Studio has been launched by me. It asked me would like to go for signing. I will just say I would like to do it later. So not now, maybe later. Which is the color theme you would like to use it? I am comfortable with the dark or a blue. You decide. Which is the color theme you are going into it? Blue or light or blue extra contrast or a dragon-like black system or a using system setting. So whatever the system settings are there, depending on that, the color scheme is what we can see being chosen. Now I am okay with the blues, so I just selected blue and development setting. Uh, I want it should be of a visual C sharp because we are using the development language of the C sharp. Then I just selected over here start Visual Studio, and this will be starting my Visual Studio for the first time. So this is the uh, simple way by which we are trying to complete the installation of the Visual Studio 2022. Now this Visual Studio I installed basically for developing the web and a console based application. If suppose you are interested in developing. uh the azure database applications or any other application like game development python ai ml then you can choose the appropriate version for the same now i would like to create my first small console based application in this particular visual studio so how can i continue i can select over here create a new project 
and here I am selecting the appropriate templates of the project. Which template I am going to select? Definitely I would like to develop the console based application. Now which language you would like to use? You can decide the application. Language is C sharp. Which platform you are interested in doing? I am interested in working with the platform of Windows. And which project type you are interested in developing? IoT based application, machine learning application, mobile application or a console based application. I am interested in developing the console based application. So you will find this is going to be running a .NET on Windows, Linux and Mac OS. And this is going to run only on what we can say the Windows. So I am interested in using this. Any of the one is allowed. Then I will give it a click on next. It asks me the name of the application. So name of the application I may have given as a test console. Uh, which framework version you are using. I am okay for using 4.7.2. I have selected the earlier one. Then I am going to give a click on create. So this will be creating what my new console based application. And here I would like to display a simple message. Welcome to C sharp. Let's see how we can write a small C sharp program which will be displaying welcome to C sharp on a console. So this is going to start my visual studio with the solution named as a test console with the project which is named as a test console and a project will be having one particular class by default created named as a program.cs and which will be containing the main method from where our program gets executed. So just wait a minute for the first time the video is getting started. So it is creating the project may text few minutes. Fine. Now my new project is started. My visual studio got started. Already I had told you we have a solution called as test console. We have a project called as test console. We have a program that is named the program.cs with a language called as what here C sharp. And this is what my program is all about. So I just try to zoom it out. So instead of 100%. I just try to uh, increase the zooming on 50% more than sufficient. Everybody knows you are already knowing the C sharp language. So I don't require to tell you. This is called a namespaces. Uh, this is the user defined namespace. We have an internal class named the program and we have a main method and in that we are writing a simple statement. So I'm writing a simple statement by saying console dot which method you are interested. Wow. So nice. So I'm using right line. You can use a tab over here. Method get selected. You select a tab over here. Bracket get started. Type the message. I just type a message called as welcome to C sharp. Then I just close the bracket. I would like to wait for a keystroke. So I'm writing over here console dot. I would like to use a read key. So I'm using over here read key. Open those bracket semicolon. Would like to execute the program. Let's see. I just run the program. You will find my program is getting builded, is compiled and then it will be executed. Further, it displays a message on a console called as welcome to C sharp. So that's the best way by which the things are been done. And on a console, you'll get a message as welcome to C sharp. I just increase the font size over here. So you can very easily see the message. So this is what the message is all about. It displays me welcome to C sharp. I press enter any of the key. You will find the program has been terminated or a program has been ended. So this is a simple way by which you are working with a Visual Studio. Fine. So if you close the Visual Studio, you would like to again start the Visual Studio. Everybody knows in a start, you will find a Visual Studio 2022. Don't use the blend of Visual Studio. Use what your Visual Studio 2022. In the next video, we will see how to go for installing SQL Express as well as how to go for installing SQL Server Management Studio. That's end for this video. Thank you.